Okay. Video like. <laughs> That's a cramp, guys. Not a roll. It's a cramp. <laughs> this is what it takes to get better, to recover fast. This is the effort it takes. A lot of people here, the results we get, they think, oh, it's just a magic pill. That can't be. But when you yeah. actually go through the work, you realize you're meeting us halfway. Yeah, right. right. Oh, no. Here. Hands down. Yeah. Get out what you put in. Let it leave the body, okay? <laughs> Don't get in the way. Let me make it. sure it's really on there. Hey guys, so a lot of you have reached out regarding, as Brad walks away, how this machine works, how is it different from an Easton machine? So we have Garrett here, he's gonna explain to you because I have no idea how to explain it in lame terms. So Garrett, help us out. The important thing is that you at least feel the difference, right? I totally feel the difference. Okay. Oh my! I mean, just in the short amount of time that I've been using the machine after my injury, the first month I didn't have the machine with me, um, and then I got in contact with the right people, and I've been using the the machine for a little over a month now. And within the first week of me using this machine, it completely changed my range of motion. My pain dramatically went, uh, you know, lowered. You need to work on uh, what we both need today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll get both machines going. Do, do you want to use both machines? Do you want to break this one out? Really? No, no we, we want, I think one's good. One's good. I should have told you. I should have told you. I have one. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just, I brought it just in case. Because if not, it's 45 minutes home and then yeah. an hour and a half back. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Depending on. LA traffic. Yeah. Pretty much. All right. We're going with. Uh, so I guess I'll start. <laughs> your quads here? Is My quads. So it's. So the initial injury was partial tears on both rectus femoris. It's been exactly two months, and I feel really good. Like I'm, I've been itching to get you know get started and train legs again. Mm -hmm. But I know I should really take it as slow. And, but I feel like I can do a leg extension. I've been doing body weight squats. I'm like oh, I feel like I can put a little bar over me. Yeah. But I wanted to get your opinion on that. I didn't know if I should just say. Fuck it, let's do it. <laughs> or wait a little bit longer. Let's, let's take a look and see. That's all I do with the machine. Right. <laughs> so train with it. That's a cool little machine. I leave the house by like 3.30 yep. a.m. And I didn't hook it up on it. was so stiff this morning. Where do you put it? Uh, uh, yeah, and this, this was actually the leg that here I feel was here. recovering so a little bit slower. Bit rupture. Have you ever muscle tested before? No. So, machine is so cool. when people do that, um, muscle testing, it's usually very subjective. And so this right. allows us to add Objectivity, right? Like we see the actual the force. And okay, nice. So I'm gonna push down. You hold up here. And go. Okay. Twenty-two there. So that's a lot more work. Seventeen. <laughs> yeah. And go. You can use it for all, all experience. Right? Twenty-nine. Okay. Uh, imagine that that nerve pathway carries a signal from your brain down to your muscles. Yeah. And it's just kind of like a garden hose carrying water. Okay. If water's flowing through, everything's good. But if there's a kink in the hose, the water gets blocked off. Right? Yeah. And so what we need to do is open up that pathway so the signal can actually get through. And to do that, I'm going to work on a few. I kind of feel like trigger point areas. So I'm going to dig in a few. No. I'm going to just, just, just breathe. That's the worst part. Is finding those hot spots is the worst part. So okay. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna dig in manually, like it'll okay. feel like it'll feel like a, like a trigger yeah. point. How do you how do you meet the New Hampshire guy? <laughs> uh, here at yeah. Yeah. yeah, cool. I stared at him for an entire year until I built up the courage to say hello. <laughs> oh, that's, yeah. Ooh. yeah. Oh, Holy yes. crap! Oh my god. Talking shit about you. It's okay, I'm in a lot of pain. She's got other things on her mind right oh now. Oh my god. You're doing a little work to, try to help. I'm just talking about how she doesn't take care of herself, doesn't stretch, doesn't do the things she Shut needs to do. Well, he's about to find out because he's doing these trigger point thingies. There's one. Mm. He has really 
strong fingers. <laughs> the main framework that we sort of operate on. Oh, we don't I'm sorry, I have a potty mouth. It's sort of super It's kind of hard not to. She's not lady. Okay. No, I'm not. <laughs> By any stretch of the imagination. Let's let's check back so in. Uh, check back in with some air pressure. Hold up here. Go. Cool. And some nerve gliding in order to help reawaken. Uh, so we're from 22 up to 27. So oh wow. So we're getting some pressure. Okay. I think we, I still think we can get up to 30. Okay. Uh, things are just like that. Breathe, 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 my friend. So it's helped me with just doing my daily things. Even when the orthopedic surgeon told me I needed my walker for two months, like within a week of using that machine, I was like, walker, <laughs> walker out the window. This machine has helped me dramatically. So Garrett here is gonna explain it. So it's, it's a common question that, that I get. Well, why is that different than you know my Easton machine or what I use in my chiropractor's office or physical therapist's office? And the answer is that it has almost the exact opposite effect on the nervous system of traditional electrical stimulation. So traditional electrical stimulation is usually gonna be alternating current because that's just you know cheaper to engineer, easier to get into the body, and, and you know simpler overall. The problem, however, is that as that signal goes back and forth, it causes muscles to co-contract and fight against each other. So with traditional electrical stimulation, sure, you get some activation, you get some pumping of blood and other fluids, there's, there's some value. But if you turn it up to a high enough level to really make a difference, you can actually cause muscles to shorten. You can reinforce the same inefficient movement patterns that lead to energetic inefficiency, wasting of energy, because the body has to work harder to overcome its own opposing muscles. And then you also end up reinforcing the same movement patterns that lead to injury in the first place. As muscles shorten, they lose the ability to lengthen, to absorb force, to protect our joints, and to work like they're supposed to. So that's a traditional electrical stimulation. So we were at 21 before. What are we at? 31. Oh, shit! <laughs> Let's not do that again. Did it feel any different to you? Yeah. Big time. That's good. In contrast, ours sends a direct current signal. It's shaped so that it most closely matches the signals the body sends naturally on its own. So it allows us to do things that you couldn't normally do with traditional electric stimulation. So one of the things you saw us doing here today, for instance, is this scanning diagnostic process. So we can use it to identify exactly where the dysfunction is in somebody's neuromuscular system. Then once we find those dysfunctions, we can work on them and usually help areas improve you know, in just a few minutes, help increase range of motion, reduce pain by getting the nervous system working better. And then again, because of those unique effects, we can preferentially lengthen rather than shorten muscles. Again, helping with range of motion, flexibility, mobility. And then we can change frequencies and, and do different things with the signal to help amplify and accelerate the effects of training as well. So there's a whole spectrum from rehabilitation after an injury or surgery or you know from the very beginning all the way through the most elite, highest level training that, that we could possibly do. AKA, guys, it's gonna make you recover faster. And if you're a bodybuilder or a meathead, <laughs> you're just gonna grow muscle. Right? <laughs> Am I right? right. <laughs> That's how I would have explained it. So I'm so happy that Garrett's here to help explain that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Everything, oh, I think we turned over a new leaf here. 40. 30. Damn it! <laughs> that's, that's good. So now, both of them went from you know 21 and 22 right. to, 30. to 30. So that's like 50% stronger. Okay. And the key is, you know, normally to get 50% stronger, how we're well, gonna have to do you know a 26 week progression and right. have everything periodized and you know normally. Right. But we clearly saw you're able to get 50% really stronger like, in these muscles, not by building new muscle and going through that whole process. Right. But just by right. tapping right. into yeah. neurologically activating the muscle that you already have. Got it. Do you guys have any kids? Just no kids yet, but I would really, really love <laughs> if you dogs. could if oh, you could wow. hook this up to Brad's abdomen and simulate contractions. Oh, uh, we can do that. Yeah, and that's what that's our next video that we're doing with the newbie. <laughs> That'd be so. Yep. Fun. I'm not kidding. I've been dying to do this video with him for months. And then when we got this machine, I was like, I think we can do it with this machine. So. If ever there was a device to do it, this is the one. Perfect. You just tell me where to hook him up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's horrible. That was horrible. That was the worst shit ever. All right. We gotta redo it. No. We gotta redo it. <laughs>
student one. Uh, Brad had to step aside because now he's meal time. It's meal time, so he's over there. But um, forty-five minutes late for meal. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you guys so much for joining us today, Garrett. Thank you so much. For that. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you for having having it us. Was, it was. It uh, was. And then they're gonna go talk to some secret people after this. So <laughs> good luck with that. Thank you. <laughs> Most action. I mean, I'll take back up over the two months. Whatever else. Everything's